Hello, Capricorn. Hi Capricorn, I'm Kristen and I'm a human. In this video you are going to get a full rundown of Scorpio season and how it affects you and your Capricorn placements. If at any point in this video you feel connected to me and you would like to become a client of mine, you can do so by joining this link here and also in the bio. I welcome you. And as you all know, I am a global citizen and I love connecting with all of you on a worldly and global level. So if you have not already, let me know where you're listening from in the comments and we can all connect and be a strong collective. Now, with all that being said, let's get into this. So Capricorn, here we are in Scorpio season, the season of great transformation, uh, death and rebirth and all of the fun scoop, uh, scoopy what is it, spooky things that we discuss tied to Scorpio. Uh, but in all seriousness, this time period is very vital for all of the human collective, but most importantly for you guys, because your Pluto is finally transitioning out of your first house during this time period. And in the natural essence of the divine, we see that Pluto is going from Capricorn into Aquarius, and it's doing so with leading us out of it through a death and rebirth through Scorpio season. When we are all entering this time period, we go through a transformation and pieces of us die and other parts of us ask ourselves who do we want to be versus who it is that we once were and we begin to look back on the year around us and look toward the year ahead of us. We are moving from one generation into a new one. And you are moving from one whole aspect of who it is that you once were into an entire new aspect of who it is that you will be. And you've been feeling this, obviously, things have been showing up for you in a way where you've had to question yourself, question your past, uh, ask who it is that you want to be in the future, and all the different aspects of who it is that you have kind of been challenged to become, much against your own comfort level, and maybe the perspectives or goals that you once had for yourself previously. This time is great because it's saying, take a look at the past, understand the lessons, integrate them into the present to bring about the future that you desire. When Scorpio, when Pluto goes into Aquarius, it is finally your weight lift. It is the light's kind of coming out. You're no longer feeling like you have to go through so many transitions, so many changes, so many refinements to understand your character at its bare bones. Empowerment has been a conversation for you guys over the past couple of weeks. And a lot of that has to do with your fourth house, fourth house activation in Aries and Chiron. Also, Saturn is going direct during Scorpio season. So big, huge change. I talked about this in the Saturn Pisces uh, retrograde video that can be found here and all of the things that were going to take place which is you guys turning your wounds into wisdom learning how to heal your social life your social dynamics on a grand scale intimately and I guess expansively many of you have had to revisit old relationships revisit how you showed up in them uh, romantic relationship dynamics and work dynamics and also just in general your Kind of your me first social ident identity has been up for debate with retrograde happening in Aries in Chiron and retrograde happening in Saturn. But here we are looking at direction. As this shift takes place, you are no longer having to revisit and look at things with a fine tooth comb tied to how it is that you show up in your world, your close quarters, your neighborhood. You're finally being able to be put into a space where home is within you and created outside of you. A great wave of self-confidence has been slowly kind of finding itself towards you guys. Despite things that might challenge you on the outside, there's something about you that is feeling very rested in your own skin. And when that direction takes place, you're going to kind of get yourself to a place where you no longer feel like you have to prove it, you have to refine it, you have to learn it. It kind of stabilizes. 
And now that all of the eyes are off of you with Pluto transitioning out of Capricorn, yes, you're going to feel a weight lift. It's going to be a little residual, of course, but with Scorpio season leading you through that, that death and rebirth is going to feel very, let's say, powerful for you, very triumphant for you. Again, the focus on relationships is a thing, but it's not necessarily in a way where it's about relationships being the thing that define you or can um, awaken parts of you, which is an issue that many of you guys could have had just a couple of years back, especially at the bare bones of the Aries and Chiron transit around 2019 to 2000, 2022, when relationships took such a high precedence that many of you sacrificed yourselves for them. At this point, it's about you understanding that you are the leader or the authority in this energy in specific, and how is it that you will show up now that this has taken place. This transitional energy is obviously saying to you, okay, you are the authority, you're the leader of the 10th house. How do you show up in a social dynamic where you are not, hmm, how do you say, at the bottom of it or feeling like you have to uh, be victimized or scapegoated, which is kind of the role that many of you guys have played, especially as Pluto was in your sign, just because of being challenged at a multitude of degrees. Uh, a few years back when Neptune blurred the lines of your social life and it felt like your boundaries were pretty much null and void and you guys were attracting individuals that didn't align with your highest alignment that was all done by design so you can further refine by the challenges that pluto was giving to you that is no longer you are in a space where you are much more aware of the self much more confident in the self self-worth self-wealth the things that i keep talking about when it comes to this pluto transition uh, when we are looking at this Aquarian new generation, it is you taking on a whole new precedence in terms of how it is that you show up in the world. And you have to be prepared for this by facing your healing process, by allowing the old you to die, your old belief systems to die, the old elements of the things that once held you back to fade away. You're being asked to look at yourself kind of in a way where you're looking fear in the face and you're giving it a wink, right? You're accepting the challenge and you're pushing through it to embrace a newfound version of yourself. You cannot allow the past to hold you back at this point because we're looking at a generational shift. And because we see the generational shift, you cannot sit in, let's say, the, the quicksand that you once would allow yourself to because it felt like too many things were up against you. Yes, fatigue may be finding all of you because of this uh, transformation and this transition. Pluto has been rough towards you guys up until this point. Uh, it's been hard, even 2024, there was a weight lift, but at the end of the day, depending on where your karma was and how deep you were in your old paradigm, you needed to be pushed out. And for many of you, that could have come with a lot of trauma, a lot of difficulty, a lot of rough experiences, a lot of healing to have to allow yourself to transition into the new version of who it is that you are in the new generation. This is not easy energy, but again, Scorpio is used to this. Scorpio is used to this process of dying. And for you, it's about embracing it. Do not resist it. If you resist it, it will persist. So that's the biggest thing when it comes to this time period. I don't want to scare you guys because it's not to say Scorpio season is rough. It's actually quite beautiful for you. So despite all of this talk about what we will do in terms of dying and being transformed, this transformation will actually feel more like empowerment. It'll feel more like you are uh, confident behind it. I kept mentioning to you guys back in September that when Capricorn goes into Pluto this time around, it's more about you being on top of things than it is Pluto being on top of you. It's more about you finding where you are uh, let's say, on top in situations instead of underneath them. You have to understand the bare bones of your personal empowerment and the things that are good about you. And this is what Scorpio season gives to you. We're looking at 11th house activation as well with Scorpio. So this is all about your social life, your social networks, social media, and how you're expanding. It's a very good time to show the world who it is that you are. Cast some spells on social media. Show people the new person that you are, how it is that you are. Um, expanding yourself, show them your transformation, get on top of this part 
of your life and say that the past cannot define for you who it is that you are, especially when we're looking at Aries and Chiron, that fourth house energy, your family, your, your culture, the things that have once held you back cannot define for you your self-confidence and the person that you want to be now. Because your wealth is here to, let's say, get grown now that Aquarius is in Pluto and we're looking at a 20 year shift of you guys really being able to be as abundant more abundant than you've ever possibly uh, seen for yourself, okay? Especially for those of you with Cancerian placements, Cancer and Capricorn are very financially lucrative during this time. Cancer more in terms of investments, Capricorn more in terms of general abundance. So this is a big thing to keep in mind in terms of opening yourself and allowing yourself to be receptive to this transformation by simply embracing it with a smile. The things that are challenging you is because it wants you to be better, it wants you to be more fearless, and it wants you to be more authentic, okay? Uh, to get into a little bit of details about the 11th house activation, 11th, the 11th house is ruled by Aquarius, so like I said, social media technology, but most importantly, your social paradigm. You are shifting your social paradigm. I keep talking about how you are being reborn, but again, you are going through this so that you can get on top of the kind of social life that you are experiencing. A lot of the time when we think about social paradigm shifting, we think, oh, we have to be focused on who is around us. and and what they're thinking and what they're feeling and who we have to become in order to embrace a new relationship, new romance, new career uh, environment, networking, friendships, things like that. But that's a part of the issue that you guys have had in the past. You attract people to you the more you are open to who it is that you are and your authenticity and allow that social paradigm again to begin within you moving through the space of acceptance, self-love, self-empowerment, and allowing that to attract the new social narrative to you. And you need to embrace that social paradigm by letting go of the old one, the people that did... Boom. The people that did not serve you, the relationships that hurt you, the wounds of the past. It's a matter of breathing deep and understanding that the things that are not here are not here because they are meant to be where they once were as you transition into your new paradigm, okay? You embrace the new social paradigm first, and then it gets created secondly. And it'll be a beautiful time. Like I said, Scorpio season is all about socializing. Get out as much as you can, allow yourself to be open, vulnerable, and connect with individuals because you are empowered. It's understanding that through connections, empowerment can be born through, let's say, the expansion of your internal self being realized in all of the things happening on the external self and all of the people that get to share your brilliant energy, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Um, yeah, tell me how you feel in the comments and your perspective about this and how you've been embracing Scorpio season thus far. Okay, I love you.